Impressions Lord of the Realm is a game that tests your ability at both management and conquest. In this issue, we'll take a look at the best methods to get a conquest started. Specifically, building and maintaining a superior army. If you're playing your cards right, the army you'll have at various stages of the game will be very different in more than just size, economic necessity, and the more civilian needs of your people will shape your military. You'll begin the game not only without soldiers, but without a population that can support them. The game tutorial suggests waiting until you've got a population of around 800 or so before you risk conscripting your peasants. In point of fact, any well-managed peasantry of 500 or more can produce small armies with no ill effects. The question, of course, is whether or not it's worth it. You won't exactly be rich, so your earliest soldiers are likely to be simple peasant conscripts. If you do have weapons, make or buy maces and spears, since they cost less to maintain. In either case, your first army should be large. The goal will be to conquer at least one or two other counties fairly soon, and the local yokels often field in shocking numbers. I've tried many combinations, and I've found that beefing your population up to about a thousand and then making one big force worth best. When conscripting your own people, never conscript more than 100 at a time. If your population is small, 50 at a time is better. You will feel foolish, but this will allow you to keep your happiness level from dropping at all. You'll get a big field of soldiers like this. Combining that many soldiers could waste a lot of time, but it doesn't have to. Say we want our new army of Jillians to march in a neighboring county. Move the soldier that's closest to it about half of his normal movement. Then move each successive group into him and combine them. The net loss is half a turn's movement in exchange for no lost happiness. Well worth it. Once you've got a few counties under your belt and your steward is sniveling before you, you'll want to turn away from the angry mob style of running an army and move towards professional soldiers, mercenaries, and knights. The game manual stress the importance of missile troops, which is right but not as right as it'd have you believe. While excellent for demoralizing troops at range, nothing beats knights. This can't be stressed enough. Once you have money, make or buy armor and swords. Nothing else matters. Archers can be hired as mercenaries, and you should do so whenever possible, combining them with your own knights. The computer sadly underestimates the knight. So always take control of your knights in battle unless you're very impatient. Not only do knights have superior defense and offense, they have a graphic advantage. As shown here, a force of 83 knights is wider than a force of 91 ordinary foot soldiers. This means flanking, serious flanking. March forward and bring your knights as much to the wings as to the fore. Knights are also faster on the field, and they can pin down archers well. The graphic width alone makes the force worth it, and once you start fielding knights, you'll never waste your money on anything else except for emergency defense and possibly castle garrisons. As you can see, that battle was won with little incident, and it's not at all uncommon for a reasonably directed force of knights to beat out 4-1 to one odds with little or no casualties taken. The expense and startup is painful, but you'll drain your enemy's coffers and populations at blinding speeds while losing few or no troops yourself. When you're really rich, start supplementing your knights with mercenaries of all sorts. This often prevents combining into really large forces, but your knights alone will be largely unstoppable. Simply having the beef of 150 extra swordsmen behind your knights will be useful, since the computer will usually accept an offer of quarter without a fight if the odds are more than 5 or 6 to 1 against it. That's it for the soldiers. Next issue will show you the nuts and bolts of conquest and managing the counties that you take out of other hands. Until then, good hunting.